also. Well, a little stretch. <laughs> hey, you got him one. Gosh, I hit him in the face. Look at that big guard. You'll help me. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I just dialed in tonight on the girl. Punk's got my line in his mouth. I'm just running around. Oh, he's going through the grass right now. Got him. Got him. Okay, boys and girls, uh, let's talk about the past couple of days that I've had. Friday morning, we head down to the honey hole and tear them up. Catch about 35. Some decent ones. 3.7 pounds was the biggest, as you saw in part one. Uh, but we've caught bigger there. But I was pretty happy with 35 for just about two and a half hours. And to be honest with you, some people have said, I'm cheating by going to this, uh, this honey hole. But here's the way I look at it. If there's water, H2O, and there's fish in it, and I'm throwing a regular old lure that you can buy at any store, and I'm pulling fish out of that H2O, I'm not cheating. I'm catching fish. Same as you would any other body of water. So that's the way I look at it. Moving on to Friday night. That was a little bit different story. Got to the lake. Looked good. Looked like the weather was going to hold up. Which it did. Started fishing. Seeing some gar. Some good ones. Got excited. And then poop hit the fan when it comes to equipment failure. We had things blowing up here, things blowing up there, fire here, smoke there. I'm exaggerating a little, but that's pretty much what it felt like. So anyway, spent forever out on the water trying to get things to work right. They just wouldn't. So we called it a night. I only shot a few. Get home and... Saturday morning and afternoon, my dad works real hard trying to diagnose the problem. Finally, the problem was diagnosed. The parts that were needed were collected. Sorry, I'm watching Golden State whoop up on the Cavs right now. Not that I care much about basketball, but I watched the finals. But anyway, uh... Where was I? Oh, yes. Okay, so the boat was fixed. We tested it out. Things worked well. So we're going again. Saturday night for redemption. 
So we head back out there. Same spot. West Point. Clark Recreation Area. To be exact. Was the boat ramp that we put in it. Didn't have a very far boat ride. Where we started. Got there a little late. Because we were waiting to see what the weather was going to do. And it held out once again. Thank goodness. So we get to fishing. It's a slow night. Weren't seeing them like we were the night before. But the equipment's working. So. Small victories, you know. So anyway, we get back back into where this little creek's flowing in. Shallow area. Got some grass. And all of a sudden. Oh boy. I see a big old tail just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Through the water. I said, oh dad. That's a big one. Speed up. So we speed up. Both shoot at the same time. Not even close. I was nervous. I don't normally get nervous when I see fish, but I was nervous. So, he didn't swim off very far. He wasn't scared of nothing, because he could have probably bit our arrow in half if, uh, if he had a mind to. So then I take a Hail Mary shot, try to hit him again. Not even close. He swims off a little bit further. Not going fast at all. Dad speeds up a little bit more. Takes a shot at him. Misses. And all of a sudden, this dumb gar, as big of a head as he had on him, his brain must not have been working that night to have dodged that many arrows and still come swimming right back at my boat. Now, I might miss twice. I ain't going to miss three times, especially on something that big. So he swims right at the boat, and as you can see in the footage, I made it nice and slow-mo so you can really see it. The size of this gar under the water. But I skewered him. And to be honest with you, I was still a little scared of him. I didn't really want to bring him in the boat. He could have taken my four fingers off. That left me with one. Can't do much with just one. Hard to cast, hard to reel. With just one. Definitely hard to hold a bow. But just one. But anyway, so uh, Dad says, well, pull him up. I'll shoot him in the head and kill him. Sure enough, I pulled him up to the top, shot him in the head and killed him. Graveyard dead. So then I pulled him in the boat, took some pictures. And even though we didn't get good numbers that night, I would call it a success, number one, because the equipment did not fail us. Number two, I got my biggest scar ever. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope you will subscribe, and I hope that you're looking forward to more homegrown outdoors action coming soon.